What's going on guys, Ezra here. Welcome back to my Cigar Lounge. Today is September 25th, 2024 at approximately 11.45 a.m. Man, I have got something really good for y'all today. This is my last cigar being 24 years old. In fact, in a couple days, I'm gonna be turning 25, uh, September 29th, 2024. Uh, I was born September 29th, 1999. So it's a lot of nines in my birthday and I wanted to go out with a banger. Today, I'll be trying a new house it is none other than Placencia Alma Fuerte All Natural. Man, I wanted to go out with a banger for sure, and this one is the one that I kept hearing you all talk about, and I finally have it here today. This is essentially a $20 stick. I paid approximately $19.70, so go ahead and tax on, make it $20. So the next one after this one, when I turn 25, is gonna be even more expensive, and then after that, we're gonna cool it down because this $20 thing, don't get me wrong, I like spending, I don't mind spending the money on these. Like, to me, this really isn't a lot. Like, I'm going to spend the money on a premium cigar. I don't care. Like, I really enjoy these premium sticks and the notes that you can get from them. And we do have a pairing today on top of that, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and talk about the wrapper filler binder and some of the notes that you may get. Check out the wrapper really quick. It's this beautiful milk chocolate wrapper. I love the stickers on this one. They did a great job with the stickering for sure. I really like the, and it also has a foot too. It has a foot sticker as well. Three stickers on this. So top one, middle top one, and then the one on the foot. But yeah, it has, it's actually kind of toothy, believe it or not. It does look a little bit toothy. I know y'all can hear that cricket cricketing in the background. The birds are chirping today, so it's gonna be a good one. It's also really humid. I'm already hot and these flies are out here. So I might even bring out my zapper. <laughs> Humidity is probably like 70 or 80%. It, Virginia, this is the part about Virginia that I just, I'm like, I gotta get out of the state one day. Like I can't keep doing this. It is so hot right now. Oh my goodness. It definitely smells like a barnyard. But with that being said, you know, that means that's a good thing because the last one that smelled like this, that was really strong was I think another Nicaraguan. Uh, but this is a Nicaraguan Puro. Believe it or not, this is a Nicaraguan Puro. So this is the second or third Puro I think I've had. So the wrapper filler binder is all from Nicaragua. Uh, I imagine this is gonna be probably a creamy smoke because from what people have said, as well as just usually from Nicaragua, I'm noticing that I'm getting more creamier smokes from the Nicaraguan uh, tobacco. I just noticed that for me at least. And hopefully, whoa, that was a B. Uh, hopefully, from what the reviews have said, as well as the aged tobacco in here, I imagine we're gonna get a pretty sweet type of flavor. The wrapper has been aged for at least a decade, 10 years, or more than that. And then on top of that, it's saying it's gonna give notes of sweet wood, citrus, pepper. Uh, this is from Cigars Daily website. I did buy it off of there. So a cigar that has citrus, that's interesting to me because I don't think I've ever really gotten a citrus style note from a cigar, like ever. It does have, it looks like a double cap on here, maybe even a triple cap, I can't really tell. So I went in to go get my lighter. I just have to show you all this really quick. There is a giant yellow jacket right there. Hold on. That yellow jacket right there is having a blast. And uh, I'm about to get that joke out of the way. So yeah, hold on, give me one second. That's the other reason why I really don't like doing this outside once it gets past like 70 degrees because you start to deal with that type of stuff. We are gonna be doing a V cut on this. Yeah, I might have to get my, uh, not my fly swatter. I'm gonna get, bring out the electric one because I ain't playing no games out here. All right, let's cut this thing. All right, beautiful cut as always. I love this V cut. It does a really good job, like honestly. Every time I use it, I just, it's really good. Hopefully the, oh, it does feel like it was wrapped pretty tight though. I don't know how the draw is gonna be. We can test it really fast. Mm, wow. As crazy as it sounds, the first thing I get is actually like orange peel. Orange peel and cocoa. That's kind of wild. Don't even know how that's possible, but all right. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Okay, the foot comes off easy, so points all ready for that. That's a good thing. Without further ado, let's get this thing lit. Thick smoke, real thick. <laughs> oh, wow. I will say the draw seems like it is a little tight, 
lately we've had a lot of loose ones. This one does seem, I already knew kind of when, how it was packed the way when I just felt it, it felt definitely pretty hot or really tight. Um, but the opening alone, I'm getting definitely sweet notes for sure, as well as like a slight nuttiness. And I actually do get citrus, which is kind of wild. You usually don't get citrus on a light up. So I'm really impressed by that. But I will talk to you all in the first third. Alrighty, we are already 10 minutes in. We're in our first third right now. I am thoroughly impressed with this cigar already. I must say I love the sticker on this. I think it is also supposed to be either a medium to full or it's already just a full body stick. Uh, again, Nicaraguan wrapper, definitely creamy smokes already. What I'm getting from the opening, well, I'm loving it already. Believe it or not, I really am getting citrus notes. I don't know how. I don't even know how that's possible, but I am so glad that I am getting that note. Uh, the burn is really good. Uh, no complaints there. The draw is, like I said, slightly tight. Not too tight, but it is a little bit tighter than my liking. We're coming up in the second third here. It's been about 33 minutes. And uh, hold on, let me pause this really quick. I was watching a video. I've been using this freaking zapper and every time I try to use it, right, the fly acts like it knows what it is and then they start disappearing. Don't you always find that hilarious how they disappear right when you're about to hit them and they're like, bye, I'm gone. I'm like, all right. Anyways, uh, look, look, I'm literally flexing and whatnot because it's so hot out here. But I am enjoying the cigar so far. I'm actually getting a new note here of like cedar and a little bit of leather. I can't really tell really which one is more prominent, but I think it's honestly more of the cedar note. It is a slight bit of leather in there. Check out the ash holding up really well, doing a great job. Burn is great. The only reason I even touched it up, honestly, was because um, it's just it, because I kind of wait a little bit to take puffs. Sometimes I'll take like three puffs and then I'll just wait a little bit because I don't want to go like get a nicotine high or buzz or anything like that. Uh, hopefully I can get an Opus X soon. I got to find one. That's the biggest thing. That's probably like the hardest cigar not to get, but it's hard to find in stock. <laughs> That's my biggest issue trying to find it in stock. But um, other than that, I cannot wait to celebrate my 25th. I think I'm going to probably try to get a massage. Beautiful flavors, still getting the citrus note. No coffee. I'm also not getting any pepper at all. This may be like the first cigar where I just don't get any pepper. Maybe, I think maybe it was the Don Carlos where I didn't get like any pepper either, but the ash looks great on here. Like I said, it's burning great. Not really issues. I understand why people love this cigar so much. I mean, it's damn near a perfect cigar. The only thing I feel like that it's missing is a slightly bit more sweetness. For me, I want like those dessert sticks like chocolate or something. So we will see what I get in the uh, final third. Alrighty guys, let me have a seat really quick. I have to start recording again. So we are still in our second third, but remember I told you we had a pairing today and this is actually my first ever bourbon. It's not the first bourbon I've tried. I've only tried like two of them, which was I think Elijah Craig. It was a really tiny one. That one was pretty strong. And then the other one, I can't remember. Is Jack Daniels technically bourbon? I guess so. It was like a Jack Daniels. That's like the only two that I've had. So pretty much the basic ones. Uh, I watched Bruzel. So if you know who Bruzel is, shout out to uh, TJ and his wife, Jill. They make some amazing content. Definitely check out their channel. I will leave it in the link in the description below, but they do an awesome job. Uh, they travel all around the country to find good prices or MSRP prices for bourbon and whiskey. He really seemed to like Old Forester, and that is exactly what I picked up. It wasn't that exact one, but this is an Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style. Let me get out the way so it can focus. But yeah, this bourbon is actually probably the best bourbon I've had out of the three. It is a fantastic bourbon, it's really good. Got it for a really decent price, honestly really good price. It was only like 40 bucks, so really good price on this. Stupid gnat keeps flying over here, but got it for a really decent price, so we're gonna go ahead and see how it tastes. Now the thing about this one, it is a 115 proof with approximately 57% alcohol. So let's see where this takes us. Also, this ash, man, it has been holding on I just, it's crazy how much it's holding on. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing poured up though. I'm gonna see how it pairs and I will talk to y'all then. Alrighty, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the pop sound when I open this, but hopefully it may do it. Ooh, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, we're not pouring a lot of this because this stuff is very strong, 
but you get some amazing caramel butterscotch and vanilla notes out of this bourbon. We're gonna see how it pairs. Probably gonna be spicy sweet combo. Here we go. That's it right there. That's all you need. That is all you need, okay? That little bit would do you right. 115 proof, you don't need to be doing nothing else. There's no reason why you need to be chasing even eight ounces, six ounces of this dab. <laughs> I definitely say you might want to have this one in your fleet if you're a drinker or some sort. It's a good one to have if you're looking for a higher proof one. I think higher proof definitely can give more flavor for sure. Just depends on uh, depends on the person. Some people can't take the high proof. I know for sure when I drunk this, I was like, whoa, my, I mean, you felt that yoga like in your like chest, yo, like it heats up really quick. So it's, it's like, it's waves of heat. So it's not your normal just bourbon. I'll relight it really quick and we'll see how it tastes. Whew, yeah, I don't think I can go all the way to the end of the cigar. It's just freaking hot outside, man. Like if it was cooler, I'd be like, okay, I can go all the way to the end. I don't think that's gonna happen today. So like I said, we'll go to the final third, let you all know if it's heating up or anything. But honestly, I've had no issues with the cigar besides the draw being slightly tight. But I mean, at that point, if that's all that's wrong with the cigar, the notes are amazing. The notes are flourishing, giving me not super complex or anything. It's staying pretty much consistent. You're getting a little bit more, like I said, in that second third with the cedar notes. But man, what an amazing cigar. Here we go. Let me take a puff and then we'll take a drink. The only thing that I'm really not a fan of, though, is the foot smoke on this. It definitely is skanky. It smells really, really strong. It's like that nasty foot smoke. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yo, that thing is strong, yo. Wow. The cedar just comes out of nowhere now. The cedar just is front forward now. Getting a little bit of slightly breadiness, but mainly this nuttiness, specifically like almond and just oakiness. The citrus I don't taste as much, but you definitely get a lot of oak forward, uh, oak, oak or cedar forward. So yeah, gives it this spicy and sweetness, a very great combo. But I will talk to y'all in the final third. All right, so we are coming up on the final third here. Um, this has been legit over like an hour and 10 minutes already. So this is easy, an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes smoke for sure. I completely see why this is ranked so high and why so many of you all like this cigar. I'm very curious on that Alma uh del fuego i think that's the one that kind of just released or that's been really popular lately it's a hundred dollar stick i don't know about a hundred dollars for a tobacco stick i just don't know about that i don't know if a hundred dollars even 40 is really worth it you've aged that cigar for a very long time you've waited a long time so you want to reap your benefits for sure i mean that's just business in general like why would you not want to get your money's worth out of waiting freaking 15 years for aged tobacco same thing with like uh bourbon or a whiskey or something you don't you want your money back you know you waited a long time i understand that again though that's for a different class of people as well so like when you're talking about a thousand dollars stick and whatnot those are for we're talking about millionaires and people who are making well over like a hundred thousand a year this cigar for twenty dollars i mean if you're trying to do something for a special occasion you really can't go wrong with the alma fuerte natural and I'm glad I waited to smoke this one. That's my last one for 24. Here's the 25 and many more. I'm really excited for the one when I turn 25. It probably won't be on my birthday simply because of this hurricane. All the storm is kind of coming up north now and it's just rain, rain, rain. Like the whole week it's already been raining. This is honestly the only day that it really hasn't rained so far. And it's actually supposed to rain tomorrow at like th or two or three in the morning. So, but until next time you guys, Peace out. In fact, let me go ahead and do it for sure with y'all. Peace out.